What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. So it is the 4th of July, and happy Independence Day, everybody. But we got a brand new honors trailer, and I've been doing these reactions, so uh, why not continue the trend, you know? So I'm gonna make this quick, because I have a lot of family in, like, the other room, but Amazing Spider-Man 2 wasn't a big fan, but I do enjoy Andrew Garfield as Peter Parker. I can't wait to see how they pick this apart, because you know, you know it's gonna be really smart. Let's watch this. Okay. Just in time for homecoming. Whose main qualification for Spider-Man is his last name comes as Spider-Man. It's true. With the Spider-Man three level of quality. Yeah. The Amazing Spider-Man. Just seeing that makes me think this movie's better. Yes, they did. Already seen the premature reboot to the original trilogy. Now, before you see the solo spin-off to the soft reboot crossover. Revisit the crappy sequel to the premature reboot that failed so hard Spidey swung back over to Marvel, then unfortunately back over to Sony again. Not a great plan. Lower your expectations because the same guys who wrote Star Trek Into Darkness and a bunch of bad Michael Bay are back. <laughs> and you can bet they'll be ruining something you loved as a kid while including magic blood at some point. It's always got a yeah. Synthesize the serum from his super blood. I liked Into Darkness, but the, the super blood things. So bloated, not. Black Cat and Spider Slayer only get cameos, while Aunt May's nursing career has its own plot line. Devil Shift on Thursday, who has to take nursing classes with 22 year old kids so I can pay for you to go to college. Who asked for this? I like Sally Field. But that was a bad start. Line. Crowds cheer while violent crimes play out. <laughs> and everyone in the city is a scientific genius. Except at bay. Me, your stupid non-scientific aunt. <laughs> <And say hello laughs> she admits it. Peter Parker, who's corrected his stutter from the first movie. <laughs> um, so uh, do you want to? Uh, what was it? I don't know. We could. I don't know. We could. Uh... And replaced it with constantly repeating himself. Ask a question. Ask a question. Wait. Listen, wait. Wait. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. <laughs> Watch his relationship with Gwen Stacy so grow true. from loving her so much they have to stay together against her dead dad's wishes. Don't make promises you can't keep, Mr. Parker. Yeah, but those are the best kind. To loving her so much that they have to stay apart. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gwen. To loving her so much that they have to stay together again. <laughs> oh my God. With a healthy dose of stalking in between. Have you been following me? Just once a day. Sometimes more. I'm following you. These movies are very convoluted. I'm sure I'll follow you everywhere. Spider-Man faces off against Electro, a villain who combines Milton from Office Space with a Tumblr slash fiction blog. You like that spy? And Jim Carrey from and Batman Forever. A tank of eels, Duh. He'll get a random grab bag of electric powers like Magneto Wing, Force Lightning, <laughs> Invisibility, yep. and Electric Cosmetic Dentistry. But for some reason, no actual eel powers. I'd pay good money to watch Jamie Foxx build an S for his eggs out of his own saliva. That's an eel fact. Look it up. As everyone forgets the lesson of Spider-Man 3 and crams even more villains into an already yeah. bad movie like right. the Green Goblin again, who's in a frantic rush to cure the disease his dad lived with for 60 years. When Stacy's ghost dad and the Rhino. Yeah. God, he's awful. He's awful. A ridiculous Russian transformer who begins and ends the film like crab bread on a poop sandwich. <laughs> so settle in for a Spider-Man movie with a good performance by Andrew Garfield. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was so bogged down by subplots, underwhelming action, yep. trailer moments with no payoff, yep. and the constant stink of desperation to create a cinematic universe. Yep. That writer, Alex Kurtzman, did it all over again with the mummy? <laughs> Seriously? How does that happen? Starring, <laughs> old Tom Holland, Paul <laughs> Snap, Mr. Burns, awesome. Jane DeHagendaz, <laughs> Dr. Manhattan, yep. and Tobey Maguire, <laughs> Spider-Man 2. Electro oh my gosh. Tom Holland is great and all, but I'll miss Andrew Garfield. I will too. He could be cool to Uncle Ben and get shot by Tobey Maguire. And then he could fly away in the Japanese spider's or <laughs> Now that's a cinematic they universe something I can get behind. Guys, Screen Junkies is going to Comic-Con. We'll be covering the whole I, event live on Screen Junkies I'm Junkie scared. News. But bigger than ever, we're throwing our own event live. I don't Saturday, know what to do. Should I play this part? Should I let this part go? 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it. All right, guys, so Amazing Spider-Man 2. Leave your comments below. Did you like the movie? Because it seems like something that is even more divisive than Spider-Man 3, because Spider-Man 3, most people are on the, okay, too much, didn't like it, it's Peter Parker dancing. They're on that side of it. Amazing Spider-Man 2, I feel like there are less people who hate it than people who like Spider-Man 3, but the people who hate this movie hate it more than Spider-Man 3. That's kind of what I'm finding on the internet. So how do you guys feel? I think this one is not a good movie. It's bogged down by a lot of things, and upon rewatch, I can see that now. But I do like it a little bit more than Spider-Man 3. But Screen Junkies, as always, gave some great points, and I love Honest Trailer. So what did you guys think? Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys for doing that. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. And be sure to go check out my Transformers countdown that I just posted on my video, where I give you the worst to the best. It's fun. You guys are the absolute best, and I'll catch you later. Thank you.